Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You know by the title, this is going to be an interesting one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As always, just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies. And everything on this channel is for educational purposes only. So, the question of the hour. And I'm sure a lot of people know what I'm talking about. I get this question more than you know. And that is, if I had the opportunity, which one would I pick? Quant or Hedera Hashgraph? Now, you guys might be saying, wow. Now, that is a strong battle. Because if you know, these are projects that are very, very close to one another in terms of market cap. You can see... The rank for Quant is at that top 35th spot. Meanwhile, HBAR is at that top 31 spot. Quant with a market cap of $1.32 billion and HBAR with a market cap of $1.68 billion. So HBAR is currently trading at $0.05. Cents. Meanwhile, QNT is trading at $91.34. So which one would I pick to be the winner? in terms of the top performer between the two. We're going to get into details. I have a lot of things lined up, so let's get into it. If we're looking at HBAR price action, you know, I'm gonna look at everything today. So if we're looking at HBAR's price action, it hit an all-time high last cycle uh, at 5.8 cents, and then pretty much has bottomed out and been accumulating within this range pretty much since last May. And we haven't really left that range except uh, you know earlier this year in February when the entire market was kind of moving. Quant, on the other hand, is also doing the same thing, pretty much been trading sideways, accumulating. Uh, but the quant, uh, you know, positive thing that gives it an edge against HBAR as far as the price action goes is back in June of last year leading up to October. We saw the price of QNT at $228, guys, just last October. Now, you may be saying, who cares about that? Reason why this is such a big deal is around this time, the entire market was bleeding like never before. But, you know, Quant was making moves and HBAR, on the other hand, was pretty much around the same level as to where it was, um, you know, where it is as of now. So, you know, in that way, we give Quant one plus point and, um, you know, that's one edge against HBAR. So now a little bit more detail. Which one is better? So we know both are very, very unique projects in their own way. HBAR, um, you know, if you understand the technology, Hashgraph, open source, you know, anyone can use it. But there's some massive names that are behind HBAR. So when it comes to delivering um, and, you know, having a unique product, HBAR has that. And that is why people are excited. Institutions are excited because, again, at the end of the day, there's some massive names uh, behind this, such as IBM, you know, with the likes of, uh, you know, Boeing, Google, and you get the picture. And when it comes to investors, they like that. They like hearing those names. But Quant, on the other hand, is also very unique in its own way. Quant, uh, you know, helps all the people, you know, all these blockchains come together and work with one another. So, you know, other projects, they don't do that. So this protocol has a benefit because there's a lack of competitors out there for itself. So that is one big advantage, in my opinion, for quant. And that is something that a lot of people sleep on uh, because when it comes to competition, quant doesn't have as much competition as HBAR has because we have tons of layer ones out there and layer twos. So these are some factors that we need to keep in mind. But now let's talk numbers. Which one comes to the top? One thing I want you guys to pay very, very close attention to is circulation supply. 33.2 30, 
billion coins in circulation with a total supply and max supply of 50 billion for H bar. And Quant only has a circulation supply of 14.5 million with a max supply of 14.6 million. So pretty much almost the entire supply of Quant is in existence as of now, which again is a positive thing. Because if we're looking at, uh, you know, H bar, there is look at this there is a 1.5 billion unlock coming and now you may be saying who cares about that you know you might as an investor not really care about that because you love the technology you think hbar is ahead of its competitors but at the end of the day sophisticated investors really you know take a look at this because at the end of the day as the supply increases that basically means inflation right so Look at it. It says Hedera will conduct its next token unlocking event on September the 1st, which is just coming up. This will see the release of 1.5 billion HBAR tokens towards network governance related operation purchase agreements. So you can see, let's put this into numbers. This event will see the unlocking of 1.5 billion, which represents 3.48 of the token circulation supply. The tokens will be unlocked and worth around $65 million as of today's prices. So roughly 65 to $66 million. And if it were to uh, be a little bit more in price by then, then, you know, of course we can calculate it in that time. So that is one thing that is not a good thing uh, when it comes to H bar and the dumping cycle on H bar is not something I like. So, again, another plus point for QNT. But remember, H bar, as far as the project is concerned, it's very, very unique without a doubt. So, it can still pull in numbers. Don't get me wrong, we're gonna get into numbers. I don't want you guys to just click away from this video. Uh, oh, like you know, Crypto ZX doesn't like H bar. I think H bar is a great project. I think it will uh, be one of the top performers this cycle, but you know, we gotta look at it from every single point of view. So now let's take a look at you know the prices. Okay, so quant current market cap right now is $1.3 billion. So that is as of today, September 18th. All-time high market cap for quant for last cycle was $5.1 billion. So now you may be saying, CryptoZX, where are you getting these numbers from? So basically what I'm looking at is I'm looking at Ethereum. I'm looking at Cardano. I'm looking at other projects. How much did they come up from their previous all-time highs? If I look at Ethereum and Cardano from 2018 all-time highs in market valuation till the 2021, it was roughly a 5x. So if we were to see the same type of gain happen for quant, the forecast for 2025 is 25 billion dollars, which is a 5x from the 2021 all-time high. And from the current market cap in easier terms, that's a 19x from today's prices. So if you were to pick it up today, if you have quant today in your portfolio, my projection is that we will see a 19x from today's prices. And again, that's just my own personal opinion. It could be higher, it could be lower. You know, we know that CBDC connection that Quant has. There's some massive news that UK um, is getting assistance from Quant to uh, launch. You know, the central uh, digital asset. I'm sorry, central digital um, asset CBDC, central bank digital asset. Sorry, uh, my apologies on that. So you know, we've seen that connection there, and if that really comes to life that can even be a bigger plus point for qnt and was that the reason why quant was outperforming last cycle were we seeing something that you know was happening behind the scenes and maybe the public didn't know about possibly and you know if we're looking at the price of quant uh, at that 2025 all-time high if that were to be true um, that's a 1718 dollars quant that is $1,718 quant, uh, you know, at that peak, which is insane. If we look at it, especially from today's point of view. Today, it's currently valued at $91. Fast forward, maybe a year from now on, year and a half from now on, we could be seeing quant trading at that price, which is great. You know, that is great. And this is... Um, 
you know, we're just going by if it were to reach a 5x. If it were to go 10x, then you can double that. It just depends on what happens. You know, Quant can come and see some massive announcement that could trigger something way bigger than we expect. But I'm thinking realistically. And I think realistically, 5x from its previous all-time high is capable, uh, especially, you know, the strides that Quant's making, the connections it has you know, the project Quant is, it's very revolutionary. The CEO of Quant, he saw some problems when he was working for governments. If you guys are familiar with Quant, you know the overall history behind it. And then he made this in order for everyone to connect together without having issues. And that's where Quant has a massive edge. HBAR, on the other hand, has a market cap right now of $1.69 billion as of today. All-time high for previous bull cycle was $7 billion. But this time around, I forecast that HBAR will only see a 4x from its previous all-time high, which is a 16.5x from today's prices. And again, now you may be saying crypto ZX, you know, some HBAR fans might come and attack me. Again, guys, I'm not denying that HBAR is not a good project. It definitely is. But the there's some cons to it compared to quant you know the circulation one in my opinion is the biggest one and competition there is insane amount of competition hbar has unfortunately and that is something a lot of people need to agree upon um, there's too much competition out there and a lot of people generally see just the cheaper price and think it's going to outperform that's not generally true all the time we need to look at you know, the circulation supply, the tech, you know, the advantages. And, you know, that is where I base it off of. And if we were to see H bar at this uh, market cap, which is $28 billion, I think that's going to be the top. I'm speaking realistically, guys. If, you know, we see um, ETF come out for one of these, again, if one of these were to have an ETF come out for them, then we could be talking crazy numbers. I'm just speaking realistically, um, you know, comparing it to other projects that hit all time highs uh, last cycle, and some didn't even hit all time highs. So, this is again pure speculation. But um, if we were to put this into perspective, that puts quant, uh, I'm sorry, H bar at roughly 82 to 86 cents per H bar at the peak of the bull cycle. I know a lot of people want it at a dollar. And again, now that brings me to my next point. So 82 cents for H bar, you know, psychological point for a lot of people is that dollar because it hasn't really hit that dollar mark. So we might see more FOMO coming in around this price if this were to happen and push it to a dollar or even above that. But that's going to be, in my opinion, the danger zone. So this is where you need to be making an exit strategy, where you need to be locking in profits. You know, I could be throwing these numbers out and maybe these numbers could come true but remember you can't just be sitting there expecting that at $1,718 you will be locking your uh, you know full positions out you need to have a strategy in place where you lock certain amount of your position out but this is my current take on both of these projects of course in my opinion the winner is quant if I had to choose between QNT and H bar I would pick QNT uh, me personally Let's say I had $10,000 and I wanted to invest that 10 k What I would do is I would pick uh, you know, a percentage of all of these coins. I would pick uh, not just quant. You never want to be picking just one project because you never know what can go wrong. We've learned this in the past with a lot of projects. No matter how good this coin is, no matter how good the technology is, no matter how good the partnerships is, never put everything under one basket. Uh, so basically, never put everything in under one egg. I'm sure a lot of people have heard this and that is not good to do so. So, you know, always diversify your portfolio. So if you have 10K and you like both of them, then you should go, you know, maybe 50-50, but always invest what you can afford to lose and always do your due diligence. That's something that's very, very important. But this is my take on this. I think if, again, comes back to the question, which was, which one would I pick if I had to only pick one? I would pick, pick Quant. And that is that. But let me know down below if you guys agree or disagree. And if you want to see more updates like this of other projects, let me know down below. But with that said, I will see you tomorrow in Crypto ZX and peace out.